We often get asked what export settings we use in Lightroom for Instagram posts, so we thought we'd make a quick video showing you what we do. As of right now, July 2017, Instagram recommends a width of 1080 pixels on your images. They say that if you share a photo at a higher resolution, they'll size it down to a width of 1080 pixels. Instead of relying on Instagram to resize your image for you, we recommend that you do it yourself in Lightroom. For verticals, which we like to use because they take up more screen real estate on your phone, we use a 4x5 crop. Just press X on your keyboard to flip your crop orientation. When we export, we usually save it to our Dropbox, but you can also use AirDrop, email it to yourself, or your other favorite method. The first thing we do is resize the image to make the width 1080 pixels. In the case of a vertical, that's the short edge. If we were doing a horizontal, it'd be the long edge. The resolution doesn't matter because we are staying digital, so we can leave it at 240 or 72 or 300 or you get the point. In our file settings, we did a bunch of tests to see what works best on Instagram. You can actually check them out for yourself on our Mango Street Lab Instagram. While all were pretty similar, we found setting the quality to 76 was most optimal. This is likely because Instagram has to compress large image files to store them all. So a full res image may get affected by Instagram's compression algorithm more than an image with a manageable file size. So take a look at our examples, experiment with your own settings, and let us know what works best for you. See you guys on Monday.